So, in this vlog, it's going to be another behind the scenes look at things. And the last episode was a behind the scenes look into various different things. Um, I found out like, the prep of videos. And that was for my first lifestyle video. Now, here I'm not going to be actually showing me filming the first lifestyle video or anything like that. But I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an insight into the kind of equipment that I use to film the lifestyle videos. Um, the tips and strategy videos are now have started, although I haven't even prepped any of those yet. But um, I'm going to be doing that soon. So they're all going to be kind of staged in sort of the same way. Maybe with like, slightly different backgrounds depending on which one I shoot at the same time. Or something like that. Um, but I basically wanted to give you a little bit of an insight onto the equipment that I use. So to hold my phone in place, I use this Joby hybrid kind of gorilla pod type thing. Now the actual technical term is a uh, uh, Joby grip tight stand for smartphones. Reading it out kind of slowly, so if you want to like type that up or anything uh, to get it yourself, then that's that there. But in all honesty, it's, it can be a little bit flimsy, like this top bit, and that's what I thought when I first saw it. But then I kind of have realize the use of this because this then folds down this folds inwards and then that unscrews from the actual main uh, you know grip tights kind of body section kind of thing um yeah so then this um disconnects from that so that you can lay it out flat like in a suitcase or something that on top very easy very light Think about it, very portable because the size of that in comparison to my hand, it can fit in my palm of my hand. It's tiny, it definitely holds my phone very easily to be able to shoot videos like the lifestyle videos and other such videos. So, a nice handy bit of equipment. I do believe it was about £15 or so. It's definitely worth picking up off Amazon. The second bit of equipment that I use isn't really something that you could like go out and buy if you wanted to film particularly, but it basically your smartphone in general is your best camera that you can use. It's to hand, portable, light, thin, very handy. Now when you think about 40 or so years ago when George Lucas filmed the first Star Wars film, the camera that he used for that when you think how rubbish the film quality was and obviously they filmed the back to front, so the sixth one was the first one that they filmed. That was a 6.3-ish, 100,000, hang on, hang on, no, 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 0 0.63 million dollar camera. Now when you think, that was like half or even a quarter of the amount of quality that your phone could give you on a camera like this for like a... Two hundredth of the price, or something. It, it, the price of smartphones today is just. I mean, if you think about it in comparison to filmmaking years ago, is my main kind of point that I'm trying to make here. It is so cheap. Your smartphone is obviously you do it with lots of different things. That's my one of my New York photos there. Literally, it you can use it for so many different things, and really, it's your best budget option for a good, stable, thin, portable, mobile quality video camera. Okay, now although this is kind of like a vlog, it's kind of like a little review into kind of what I'm using for equipment. Now I'm just filming this on a cardboard box because this is where I stand my camera for when I film these videos. So anyway, this is literally a really budget lens kit basically. Literally this costed me like six ninety nine, which is what? Seven pounds. Literally seven pounds for this. Now these are lens caps, so that one screws onto the front of there, this one screws onto the back of that one. But this is two lenses, two in ones, so it's Oki, which is the brand, and it's the two in one lens set. Now here we have, if we're going to focus, no it's not going to, so we have just there, I'm going to read out the top one, the top one is a 0 0.45 times wide angle lens, is that one. And then this one down the bottom is a 15 times macro lens. Macro lens is for tiny things, so like very small photography, so you can see like the individual fibres of cardboard, for example. And then obviously wide angle, so you can get a very, you know, wide shots in my hand would be like out here or something. 
so you can see a lot more of what you're trying to shoot. So it's a very budget thing to do, and it literally just straps onto your smartphone, either the selfie camera or the front facing camera. We're using this clip. It's a lens wipe, a carabiner in there to strap on to the case. Very smart case, two lens caps, two in one lens set, seven pounds. Easy budget option for lenses. Now, in the first, I believe, episode of the kind of behind the scenes vlog, so there was two parts, I think it was three and there were three, vlog three, vlog four, with the two parts of kind of like behind the scenes. Now, this was featured in that, and it was kind of like a time lapse of me like unraveling it really fast, and it's insane. But yeah, this is a lapel mic, and that's the clip that will go onto your shirt there. Fuzzy little wind kind of thingy. So simply, it will literally just strap on my shirt. I'll be talking, you'll be picking it up, send it through all the cable, and then the connector that will go into your phone or PC or even your camera, I do believe, and shoot really good quality audio for about £15. I do believe I picked this up off Amazon about a year ago or so very very budget it's seriously it's like three meter long cable that would like stretch across my bedroom N enough like width wise across my bedroom it's it's really good now it's got the kind of like adapter thingy on it so if i can find it yeah that so there there's two settings there's camera and then that that's the on setting and then the off setting is for smartphone so it's on my smart it's, it's for smartphone at the moment so it can do camera and smartphone that can also clip on to anything if you wanted it to. Um, so it can do both. Um, but I have it set for smartphones because I only use my phone at the moment for this. And then when I get a DSLR in the future, I'll be using this as well for like uh, point and shoot videos. For example, like the tips and strategies, camera techniques, B-roll, and for example, lifestyle videos. Like I'm about to get on and shoot with this massive long video prep. But yes, so that's the kind of thing I'll be using. So it's a very, very good thing, very reliable, very strong, very long, very budget, for your needs, of a mic. Definitely check it out. It's called a Boya by M1 lapel mic. Very, very budget mic for your needs of cameriness. Okay, before I add any more randominess to this video, um... I'm going to just kind of explain this. This, this. this is very clear what it is. Phone case, front of my phone, back of my phone. But what I wanted to really point out here is my pop socket. Now, I can get it out of the fold up position. One hand. Apparently not. Yeah, yes. So, pop socket. One setting. Then you have the first setting. Now this can be for playing videos, so you can like rest on your desk, or you can... My main reason for this is that I use my pop socket whenever I'm out and about and I want to shoot photos. So I get it between my fingers as you're supposed to do, like that. And then obviously the camera is there, on my index finger there. So I'll be holding it, obviously seeing what I'm filming, and just kind of pan shots. Now obviously because I've got the uh, Joby Gorillapod stand for tripods kind of dingy tripod stuff that does not really work with this because this does not like clip into there and it doesn't stay because the pop socket complicated anyway now i've got this i can pan around with this instead so pop socket is not as useful for filming anymore but i do still use it for photos and photography and obviously resting videos and resting my phone for videos on the table so that's also something very budget. I think I got that for like 99p off of Amazon. Yeah, pop socket's come really cheap. The phone case I got for like two quid. Lovely gel one. So I can see things better. I don't have like the flippy ones that go across your screen and everything. It's quite annoying. But it is more protective. But for photography and everything, I prefer for pan shots, a gel case, a pop socket as one setup. We're using the Joby grip sight stand for smartphones. So, I know this video is a little bit random and it was kind of a little bit of an insider of budget options for things that you can use. Now, each one of these I'm going to be doing on the kind of like tips and strategy video things, um, like a review into each one, an extensive one. But I just want to give you an insight into them because, you know what, it's content, that's one thing. But that's just one video for me. But for you, 
picking up some of this all, all round, even my phone included, of the price of it, this is like £150 or 100 say about £200 all round of all that equipment together. Now that is a very, very, very good setup. For point and shoot, it's very good. For vlogging, it's quite good. And for photography, it's amazing. So definitely uh, worth looking at all those things. I will link, well, I won't link them, but I'll just, I'll leave a list of all the equipment that I kind of reviewed, not so extensively, but just kind of a quick overview into them in the description down below. So definitely go and check out each one individually and see if you could use it in your personal videos. I don't earn affiliate money off of this, so it's nothing like that. It's just genuine. I feel that you, if you are into photography, video, point and shoot, anything like that, that it will be a very good budget options for you to get started with making content. So I thought I'd just do this random little vlog and um, show you a little bit of an insight into all the equipment that I use when shooting videos. Now, obviously, before I go off, but I'd point out that this does not include my camera, it does not include the Gorillapod that I use, it does not include editing software or anything like that. If you want any more information of things like that, definitely go and check out my, um, you know, kind of two-part series of the behind-the-scenes thingy. And I'll link that up on the cards up above, um, somewhere up here. Never done that before, but somewhere up there. And you can go and check those two out. So definitely check them out. Definitely check out all the equipment that I used today and I've shown you. And uh, yeah, come back next week for the next vlog.